Hey, hi everybody. I'm Dr. Joni Liu, best-selling author and founder of Extraordinary Sports Medicine. And we're here to heal your concussion. But first, you know, I want to give you an update on what I've been doing because my big project is my crowdfunding campaign for my even bigger project, which is for the pilot research project that I want to do. So it's, the project is called Hope for Millions with Brain Injury. Okay, hope for millions with brain injury because the CDC says that between 1.6 and 3.8 million people in the USA have suffered concussions due to sports and other recreational activities. But the thing is, is that not everybody knows that they have a concussion or seek medical advice. So this is from all their emergency room statistics, which I find really astounding. And this doesn't even include all the people who get head injuries from motor vehicle accidents and that sort of thing, okay? So I think what they also do is they lump the stats in with falls and being struck by objects, you know, that sort of thing. So the thing is, is that my crowdfunding link at GoFundMe is this. Okay, so look for the title, Hope for Millions for Brain Injury. Because I found out this week some shocking news, that there is absolutely no proof, there has never been a clinical study, any kind of study at all, that has shown that, that the type of cocooning that MDs are, and neurologists are telling people, you know, stay in bed uh, five to seven days uh, in a dark room actually works, and actually there really is research that shows the very opposite. So we gotta stop telling people to do nothing because that is not a treatment, okay? Doing nothing has never ever been a treatment and it never ever made any sense to me, okay? So today's topic is how will you know when you are enjoying life again? And here's a, here's a very important topic. What will it take to get there, okay? The thing is, is that a lot of people, unfortunately, keep looking to the future. I'm going to be happy when. <laughs> I'm going to be happy if this happens. I'm going to be happy. You know, they're putting all kinds of conditions, all kinds of obstacles in front of themselves. Because in reality, deep down, they don't believe that they will ever be happy. Okay? And hi, Catherine. How are you? And so it's really important for us to start thinking about being happy right now. We have a lot to be grateful for right now. It's not being happy in the future. We can't do anything in the future, but we can do what we need to do right now in the present. So, I mean, that, that's one of those things, you know, they, um, this whole thing about being present uh, living in the present, the present is a gift, and all that stuff. But what does it really mean? It really means being who you are right now in the present. So forget what happened in the past, because the past is the past. The only way that we can move forward is in the present, okay? I was talking to an MBA agent who used to be an MBA player. And uh, his coaches used to tell him that the mind is everything. And it's true. The mind is everything. Now, when it comes to sports performance, they're only talking about one thing. They're only talking about how they actually perform, you know, what their goals are, this sort of thing. But the thing is, is the mind is everything in everything. I want you to let that sink in. Because the mind really is everything. And the mind directs the brain and it directs the body. So I always say that the body always follows the mind. And that includes your brain. So it's not just the thoughts that you're thinking, but the feelings that you get from those thoughts. That's what you really have to look out for. Hi, Kim. <laughs> That's what you have to look out for. Because the thing is, is that 
If you have unhappy thoughts, then you're going to have unhappy feelings. And that equals stress for most people. Unless we become so self-aware that we nip those thoughts right in the bud, okay? And start reversing it to the things that we do want. Because that's what negativity really is about. It's about being focused on the things that we don't want. So we have to consciously turn that around into the things that we do want and that becomes positive thinking. It's, there's no other way. You see, positive thinking doesn't matter unless you're actually feeling positive, okay? Otherwise, you're turning on the stress hormones and neurotransmitters in your brain and your body. You're flooding your entire body with all this bad stuff. And I'm not saying that, you know, negativity is bad in the short run if you can actually turn it around. But if, if it's a chronic state of mind, then you are definitely in trouble, okay? So, what do you want most in your life? Okay, what is it that you really want? Now the thing is, is that a lot of people don't seem to know what they want. And, and I think it's because we've been brought up, you know, and discouraged. And instead of being encouraged to follow our dreams, you know, and I, and I think, you know, maybe they're well, maybe this is well-meaning, but somehow I don't think so because everyone's reaction comes from themselves. It's not because of you, it's because of their own inadequacies. And so I would say, just ignore everybody else and just go and do what you want to do. Because that is the only way you're going to live the life that you want, okay? So how will you know when you're enjoying life again? When you're doing the things that you want. I mean, a few weeks ago, I talked about how to um, avoid disappointments. Well, one of the major ways is ignoring what everybody else is telling you, okay? And you just go and do what you have to do. The thing is, is that when you are so single-minded, the right people are going to come your way. Um, the right advice is going to come your way. You know, don't be afraid of it not happening. I mean, with all the things that happened to me, trying to figure out this crowdfunding thing, and, you know, the research thing and finding out I had to get approvals here and there, <laughs> you know, a whole ball, a whole new ball wax for me. But it's happening, okay? It, it doesn't matter. And I, and I just got some incredible ideas yesterday. So, in order to attract the right people to fund me. So, this is exciting to me because, because this has been such a learning journey for me too. Because I have so much faith in what I'm doing that it doesn't matter if people are saying no to me. If people are saying yes to me, it's great. <laughs> but I don't get discouraged anymore because I have faith that this is all going to come together by December the 23rd, 2016. And that I will have the 10 people that I am looking forward to helping in early December, um, early January 2017, okay? I have a lot of faith. So nothing discourages me now because I know that, that I have faith in the process. God has faith in me. God has chosen me to do this work and I'm willing to do it, okay? I'm so willing to do it. So try to avoid disappointment by not being of two minds. You can't get what you want, you can't receive what you want if you're of two minds. If you're thinking, oh no, what if this happens? Oh no, I don't think this is good, but I want this so much. Oh my God, you know, I want this so much, but what if this happens? Blah, blah, blah. You know, all that junk, get rid of it and only focus on what you want, on your final goal. Only focus on your final goal. And that's my message. That is how you will know that you are enjoying life. And this is what it's going to take to get there because it's all about what's in your mind. Your mind will determine what your brain looks like and feels like. It will determine how fast it's going to heal. So again, as a final note, 
Go to my crowdfunding link at GoFundMe. I'll show you this again. <laughs> okay, so have fun out there doing what you like because that's the only way. It's going to be hard work, but it's also going to be fun. And have faith. Continue to have faith that everything that you want in your life is going to happen, including having all the brain health and all the natural body health that you want. Okay? Talk to you next week. Bye.